What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy and that strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody. So I do want to do a quick background here because I'm just now coming to the realization that the June 2nd, 2023 word the Lord gave me about WikiCat and BNB Tiger it was a section of that video that I was describing dreams. So let's talk about it real quick, okay? Then I'll kind of run down the prior word and just reshow the screenshots because it's can't really do a traditional um, events portion considering this is something that we kind of got to look at and cover ourselves but in that dream I spoke about WikiCat and BNB Tiger now this is what I said and saw in the dream for WikiCat I saw basically what I said was I was literally looking at the charts and I saw WikiCat go up like two zeros or something like that. So basically something close to that, indicating a small run, just a very small run, nothing too crazy, but small run. And part of why I said it like that too is because around that time, I definitely was a little bit newer to reading charts in detail and so forth. I was really, really around that time learning to a more extensive degree how stuff worked and how to really maneuver if that makes sense like i was positioned in the normal stuff but the meme coins it really led me to reading the charts in more detail if that makes sense so that was just a key point i also wanted to consider while i was giving out that word from what i was able to connect to in the dream so i noticed towards the end of last year like november december it did take a small run from the decrease that it took, and I'll just show that for you all. So that is what the Lord was hinting towards me with showing me the cats and stuff, and I wasn't catching it. Um, it did have that small run. The Lord was warning me about that, and that did happen. Now let's talk about BNB Tiger really quick. We already covered this, but the glitch that happened, I saw in the dream that BNB Tiger went up multiple zeros. So kind of around that fall, the same time, you know, the fall season, BNB Tiger literally glitched and was showing millions in people's wallets, you know. And that was huge because it stayed there and did it five times, five being a very significant number, like grace from God, you know. I've been seeing that a lot. But so basically at that point in June, I was really learning how God was giving out details with his words. Like around the summertime of last year, I was really learning how to be more careful to watch how the Lord said things and how he showed me things. So let's talk about some specifics here and key notes. I didn't see myself pulling out any of these coins, particularly in the dream. I only told people what I saw on the charts. And what I told brothers and sisters in Christ. So this is kind of what I'm doing right now, if that makes sense. So that was key symbolism as just a warning that God gave me that I'm now doing. One of the things that the Lord had told me to do was make a video telling people, hey, you know, start using your authority more over the enemy, you know, who's trying to take your blessings, who's trying to distract you get you on the wrong track and it was call it forth a lot of people got really upset about that word because you know people don't realize that life and death is in the power of the tongue so basically the day after that word remember i showed y'all the birds and stuff like just an overflow of birds unnaturally around me coming out the house almost running into me and i was like god really hears us like that's a form of abundance that's symbolism so then not that long after, I think maybe even a week after that, 
is when the BNB Tiger glitched five times, not once. Normally we get a good glitch five times. So this is what I want to conclude this background with. We've got to stop looking at things from a physical world standpoint and really understand that God is going to supernaturally increase us. He doesn't need to have requirements from the world to do so. He can literally take funds out of an individual's bank account or snatch those funds while they're transferring something to their bank account and dump it into your sale orders elsewhere. He doesn't actually need the person to start moving funds into a certain market when the angels can literally snatch up somebody's stuff supernaturally and dump it into sale orders just like that. OK. So a lot of people ask the question is Wiki Cat and BNB Tiger done. I'm just covering the part that God gave me. We prophesy in part. So I'm just going over the words that God gave me. I'm not covering another person's piece. That's not my job. That is not my task. I'm just going over what the Lord had specifically given me. OK, so that's a question to ask the Lord regarding your own personal situation. I know what God told me. I'm not sharing what he told me. It's things I'm not to give out in my secret place. Only what he tells me to give out. OK, so you do need to be in your secret place. If you don't know what God told you, then you don't need to be in nothing. Another thing I want to mention. So if you are somebody who is chasing after coin after coin after coin, please stop. I know God is not telling you to do that because not a lot of people know how to pull things out. So let's say BNB Tiger do go up or something like that to a super duper big amount tomorrow or something. Right. A lot of people going to try to sell it all at once and it's just going to start jacking stuff up. They ain't going to be able to do it. They ain't going to know how to do it properly and lose all their stuff to fees. So it's a lot of stuff to it. If you don't know what you're doing, God isn't going to just give you something so you can lose it all. You know what I'm saying? So not everybody is set to receive that way. If you have Sheba or something else or sell orders or buy orders, whatever the situation may be, God will fill them or however God told you personally he's going to do it for you. He will do it for you. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. OK. You don't have to be in 80 different places to receive from God. You cannot miss the blessings God has for you. You can only miss that if you let the enemy lead you in the wrong direction. And guess what? He will have you move out of positioning in a place you know how to function properly through the crypto space to, you know, put in all these other coins, move you out of position. And then what happens? You don't know what you're doing. You don't get nothing. It doesn't matter where you are. A lot of stuff is going to be supernaturally filled based on the amount God wants you to have and knows you can be responsible for. Not everybody's going to get a lot at once. They have to show God that they're able to be responsible. So we got to stop thinking physical world and think more supernatural. Just you can't sit there and think physical world. You're going to drive yourself crazy. The Red Sea didn't make sense. So you got to be all right with that. You got to be all right with not understanding how things are going to turn out and just do what he tells you to just get in position. And that's all you need. Stop falling for these tricks that the enemy is putting y'all through to chase coins. Some people God is teaching to day trade, but many he's not. You don't need to really know the timing of when something is going to happen. You don't because God is in control. Don't tell me you do. God is in control. As long as you're positioned, he could do it anytime he wants to when he feels it's right and you will get whatever you have set. And he will exceed expectations of what you have set. It doesn't even matter. It's going to get filled because God is one that shall not lie. He know what he said he going to do. You know the dream you had. So stop tripping and trying to chase the time period and time frames and this coin and that coin. Please stop falling for that. Yes, there are other things that God may use, but not for everybody. That's what the Lord kept saying. Your faith grants you access. There's a lot of people that's in the crypto space that's tripping and trying to be physical world of think because they know everything. They're going to get something. Uh uh, your heart got to be in the right place. Are you even building a relationship with the Lord? It's a lot of factors. 
So just keep your eyes on God and follow the instructions that he gives you personally. All right. All right. Let's go to that prior word and just end off real quick with those screenshots to show y'all exactly what was going on. OK, peace and blessings. And I will catch y'all in the next one. I had a dream about WikiCat. All right. So I was sitting there around other brothers and sisters in Christ and WikiCat, it literally, I saw the graph, it had jumped like two zeros or something like that. And Tiger, when I tell y'all, oh, them zeros jump, jump, I forgot how many zeros it jumped. I think it, I don't even know. I don't even want to say the number and be wrong, but Either way, it jumped a lot to the point where I thought if it was a dream, I wanted to stay in there because it was so much going on right there. But I was like, I told y'all, I told y'all it was going to happen. Come on now. I was telling people it was so funny. Um, well, as if I was actually sitting around brothers and sisters in Christ. And be like, I see, I told y'all what God told me.